Hello, Jackie here. I'm so excited. I'm actually traveling, so I'm kind of in a temporary location, but it's great to come back on here and give you informative videos, especially about FLVS, Flex, and those of us who homeschool, okay? So really quick, I am a mother of four, and I have a high schooler and another one entering high school. So it's two high schoolers. It's new to me. Then I have a middle schooler and a uh, fifth grader, so grade elementary school. And we're moving into a new season, a season where we have opportunity for AP classes. But let me tell you, if you have a really young student who is really intelligent, don't hold them back. This is my lesson learned. So let me explain that really quick. <laughs> my incoming seventh grader is going to start high school classes. She's actually already done high school classes for the last two summers, basically electives, just to test them out. She's done very well. So she did summer, whatever, you do the math, figure it out. She's entering seventh grade. So the summer after fifth grade, the summer after sixth grade, she's done again, high school electives. So moving forward, my incoming ninth grader, is going to do high school, obviously. And he's also done high school electives in the summer. And then my 11th grader. So where am I going with all this? The point is AP classes. So I've done some research. And so again, for those who are like, yes, a video, help me. I don't want to be alone. There's so many questions. This is the little bit that I know. You may still need to do some research. My family, you may or may not know, is with Aspiring Heights Academy. What is that? If you don't know, it is a private school in Florida. It is an umbrella school, they call them. There's 600 schools. That's a code number <laughs> with the FLDOE. In short, we're registered with them as our school. We basically just give them attendance every year. That's it. No portfolio, no um, transcripts, no other paperwork, just registration every year, attendance. That's it. I super love it. So after that, we have the awesome resource of FLVS Flex, Florida Virtual School Flex, the flexible um, option for homeschoolers. That'll be our curriculum or we have it with a hybrid of another school, other curriculum options. AP classes. FLVS Flex students can take AP classes. So I will tell you the one little tricky thing for some of you, or maybe all of us, is that you have to use your local district school for the testing. Other than that, you sign up for the AP classes. In our, in our case specifically, we will sign up with FLVS Flex AP class. I approve it. Our guidance counselor, which is basically Aspiring Heights Academy's director approves it. I will email her, let her know, and she does that. And then FLVS Flex will assign my student a teacher. That's how we've done with all the FLVS Flex courses. So if you, AP classes, we haven't done it yet. That's why I'm giving you a very limited experience in, information for this video. Soon after we do it, I'll give you more information, but I wanted to give you this for parents like me who are trying to figure all this out and it's all new whether your child is a ninth grader 10th grader 11th grader 12th grader or a very smart seven six seventh or eighth grader something like that because i have learned don't hold your kids back i have been stuck to the mindset of like okay they're in seventh grade they're doing seventh grade and but when my oldest was in middle school she did some high school classes and it worked and now i'm more brave as a parent to move forward so sorry these are new headphones so i hope i'm not breathing in them too much anyway moving forward so at this point i'm excited that my 11th grader is open to doing ap classes it is always suggested to do one two maybe three if you're going to do more than three, just be aware that it's just a lot. And then again, you have you should take the test with your district school or with a school. We travel, so we know of a school nearby that we will be doing the testing. So that would be pretty awesome. So with all that, I just wanted to share with you this information because I didn't know. So I wanted to let you know. If you have any questions, comment below. And if you have any feedback, I appreciate that. So again, just really felt 
I just needed to jump on here and do this video. It may not be the most perfect video ever, but I definitely wanted to let you know. Yay! <laughs> so AP classes for FLBS Flex students is a go. And again, the only maybe mainly trick of it would be to know where to do the testing. So it's in there with the college board and things like that. So it's a new, new life for us and a new adventure. And if you have already had this experience and you're like a pro on it, I'd love to talk to you, maybe do an interview with you and we can publish that. I think people would love to hear that. Um, anything to help each other. You know, we got to find out what works for each other, what works for our individual families and our individual students. And that's my passion. So again, I'm Jackie, mother of four, just trying to figure this out and share information. So thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Your comments are wonderful. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.